Hello, Wealth Lab 8 users. Glitch here. Today, we're going to talk about what's new in Wealth Lab 8 Build 24. And as I've been doing in the most recent videos, I'm going to save the best feature for last. So be sure you watch until the end this time. It's going to be big. So, first off in Build 24, we have a nice a new feature in the strategies. Let's open up one of the published strategies. Let's say Volker's two minute system. And I want to run that on a data set. We are going to pick, and this is a sneak preview. You won't see this available yet. This uh, is the Norgate extension that's under development. So you can see here we have a number of new data sets powered by norgate this is coming soon should roll this out uh, in the next couple weeks hopefully but let us select one of these new norgate data sets let's say this norgate data set will bring in any component that was in the russell 3000 at any point in time since i'm only requesting 10 years of data that means Many of the symbols that haven't traded within the last 10 years are going to come back empty. So by default, Wealth Lab 8 will go through your other data providers that you've selected in your data manager to try to find those symbols. It could slow down the back test. Uh, if I want to avoid that, I'm going to check this new box here. Obtain data from the selected data set only. And when I do that and I click run, you will see how quickly Wealth Lab 8 loads all of the data from the Russell 3000. It uh, just quickly zips through all 3000 of those Norgate data files. The ones that come back empty, it just simply ignores instead of trying to get them from the other data providers that I've configured in Wealth Lab because of this new checkbox that I enabled here. And it's just about done. It is loaded all of those 3,000 files. Well, look at that. It's actually 6,000 because it's the symbols of the current that are currently in the Russell 3000 and the symbols that have ever been in the Russell 3000 at any point in its history. So pretty amazing, huh? So we're now running the back test on 6,000 symbols, 10 years of data. Okay, so next we have a new trading threshold in preferences, trading, this uh, thresholds area here. Trading thresholds are conditions that you can set uh, such that if these occur in your live trading, Wealth Lab 8 will not place a new order. And you could also check this box here where if a threshold is met, Wealth Lab 8 will also cancel any existing open entry orders immediately. So the new threshold we added are open positions. So here I have it turned on and configured to four. So at any point in time, if in the account Wealth Lab 8 sees that there are already for open positions, any subsequent orders will fail to be placed. And once four positions are established in the account, Wealth Lab 8 will actually cancel any other existing open entry orders. So this should help you limit the number of open positions uh, in your live trading. So there we go, the new trading threshold. Next, we have a new plot method that we added. Let's go to the quick ref. And it is called draw text v align. So this new draw text method allows you to vertically align the text so that it is aligned to the top of the text or the bottom of the text. So let's open up the quick ref example. 
And here we go, we can see it's plotting like a number of up and down arrows on the chart whenever the rate of change crosses above or below zero. So in the code, you can see how it's doing that. It's using draw text align to plot an up arrow uh, with the text with that arrow vertically aligned to the top. And for the cross under, it's drawing a down arrow vertically aligned to the bottom. Uh, this method also provides a margin value, both horizontal and vertical. So since not all text will perfectly align to the center of the bar, you can use this margin to fine tune the position of the text so it lines up exactly like it is here with the center of the bar on the chart. So that is the draw text via line. Uh, last but not least, the major new feature in build 24 is the market screener tool. So let's go to tools and open up a new strategy screener window. So this opens up and allows you to select or drag a strategy. So let's go back to Volker's two minute system. Let's drag that up here. So we've now selected the two minute system and the screener submits the strategy to our backend screener service, which contains the entire history of the US stock market for one year. It contains one year of history uh, in memory. So it can very quickly screen the market using strategies. Let's, let's screen the entire S&P 500, for example. Let's uh, submit the screen. There we go, within two seconds, We've screened his strategy and uh, we have 294 signals on the two minute system. Let's, uh, let's select a, a system that maybe doesn't trade quite as frequently. Uh, maybe the RSI three strikes, let's try that one. So let's submit the screen. So yeah, here we have 14 signals. Uh, let's go and scan the entire US stock market for entries. And let me quickly explain how this screener is operating. On the backend service, it is running the strategy only on the last bar of data for each history. So it's just running your strategy on the last bar and, and uh, returning any buy or short signals uh, back to Wealth Lab 8. So let's go ahead and run that strategy on the entire US market. So it's running and here we go. It processed 9,400 symbols in 2.4 seconds. So it's very quick. Uh, this screener is pretty groundbreaking for Wealth Lab. Uh, we haven't had anything so far in the platform that allows you to scan the whole market like this uh, so rapidly. So go ahead, create your screens, create your strategies. Uh, the screener can support building block strategies, code-based, or even rotation. So let's, uh, let's drag a rotation strategy in there. Here in my sample strategies, I have a ultimate oscillator rotation strategy. And what this will do when I submit it is it will return the symbols in the entire US stock market that have the lowest ultimate oscillator value. So here you go. Here are the three symbols in the entire market uh, as of 12.7 that have the lowest ultimate oscillator indicator value. Pretty interesting, huh? All right, next let us switch to the website because I wanna show you how the screener is now also integrated on the wealthlab.com website. So if I go to my private strategies, I have a strategy here called RSI turns up. Uh, I set this up to buy when the RSI 14 is below 30, also when the RSI four is below 30, 
Uh, and I put a qualifier here, one bar ago. So if the RSI 4 was 30 or under one bar ago, not the current bar. And the final condition is the RSI 4 is turning up. So if those conditions are met, it's going to issue a buy signal. So see the screen button here? This is new in the Wealth Lab Strategy web back tester. So we can click screen and we can now screen the strategy once again on the entire market. Uh, so that's for subscribers only. If you are a non subscriber, you can test out the screener on the Dow 30, the NASDAQ 100, on our a uh, couple of public data sets, uh, but the larger symbol data sets are reserved for subscribers. So I'll click Submit Screen, and there we go. We have 38 signals that uh, met that RSI kind of turning up from a very low level. Let's let's check out one of them. So let's say BLND. Let's go back to Wealth Lab 8, and let's go to our chart. And Let's type in BLND and take a look. So, yep, here it is. Uh, let's move this over a little. So here you can see BLND ind indeed <laughs> did go down where the RSI 14 and the RSI 4 were below 30, and then the RSI 4 has just turned up on this bar. So amazing. The ability now to screen the entire market for virtually any technical situation or pattern uh, that you can define in any strategy. It's uh, pretty incredible and we're very happy to have released this capability on wealthlab.com and in wealthlab 8. But we're not done yet. We have much more in the works, many new and interesting things planned ahead. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. And in the meantime, we will see you all on the forums.